Hey guys, what's going on? And as promised, we're going to be doing another update about how repeat offender is coming along. Now, there's still certain details I want to add, but I have done a lot since then. So we're going to force it till we get the call. Um, Citizens report a possible storm I didn't feel like taking out some of my other call outs, but I don't have enough time to even show you all the variables that could take place Citizens in this call out. On one day, I should have took the other call outs out, but... You know, we're gonna we're gonna keep hitting it. Officers report a criminal now there's probably still a couple of debug lines. Um, all that stuff will get removed. Hospital is there. Oh my god, I just want one call out that I made. We're gonna let it clear out a little bit. You don't want to super load LSPDFR by forcing call outs. Citizens report a possible stolen vehicle in Cypress Flats. Citizens report a motor vehicle accident in Rancho. It looks like it might be one of our one of the traffic call outs. We'll take it and see if we get it. There we go. I can tell by the spawn location. That's how much work I've been putting into this. Suspect is black male, early 30s, heavy. Suspect reported wearing no shirt, light shorts, light sneakers. Now, I still need to improve his vision range. It's well, and the feedback I'm going to get from some of the testers say it's good enough. But, I don't know, I want to use actual vision. I know you can set the ranges, but I've never experimented with that. So, we're going to find old John Perkins here. And I've got it set for a very specific type of outcome. So, we'll, we'll figure out what we're going to do from there, and I'll show you. And we're going to cover the menu, updates to the menu, updates to... Oh, he's already in the damn car. All right, so he's deciding to take off on foot. All right, that's gonna work out pretty well. We can get other units here. Um, he's kind of same deal. He's handed off regularly. All units. Assistance needed in Davis. Roger, dispatch. We are en route. Try to get a nice tackle on this guy. We're gonna see if we can get a nice little takedown on him. All right, so we got him down. We got good backup with us. Um, you know, dispatch, making sure we're all right. We're gonna go ahead and tell him that we're good. One of the challenges with making this work correctly with Albo's um, arrest manager. I know a lot of you guys are gonna be using that, so it's something I had to do. Um, the old, the old method I had in place, the call out would have ended right now. You can see we can still press this, and we can still get a reporting person. We can still go for identification. Um, we went ahead and told the wagon to come and try to keep it somewhat short. But for some of those people that are paying a hefty amount of attention, he he dropped something in the middle of the street. So we're gonna go to first person view so we can actually see it. Uh, maybe we'll use a torch too. There we go, right here. So, oh, the torch is actually too bright. So it looks like we got a little bag of drugs. And you can see once you get close enough, you can press E to gather the drugs that the suspect dropped. It's gonna be an additional charge. We got the drugs now. You're gonna have to look for this. I will not hand this to you guys. He doesn't drop drugs every time. He doesn't take off fleeing every time. So now we, we saw him break into the vehicle. We don't know if he's wanted. We know his name was John Perkins. So we can even do a background check on him still. And, you know, some of the finishing things I want to add is, of course, being able to call the owner down for the vehicle um, so you can get them to, you know, assess the damage, let them notify them that their vehicle's been broken into. As you can see, he's probably shattered one of these windows just to get in here. Let's go look at these. Well, maybe he didn't. Maybe the car was unlocked. Sometimes it comes unlocked now. Nope, I hear glass. I think this window's broke out. It's just my graphics car strat. Yeah, you can see that the left window's broken out. So, you know, we're still actually on the call. Um, you know, we can still get a reporting person. Tell so dispatch we're good again. They constantly periodically check up on you. They don't maybe there was more than one suspect. But we're good with this call, so we can go ahead and clear it. Um, we saw him drop some drugs, we saw him break into a car, he fled from us. You can see resisted arrest, fourth degree burglary. Warrant for arrest and possession of CDS. Overall point outcome of 42 points. Point systems are eventually going to matter. They're not mattering right now, but me and Albo are bouncing ideas off of each other. So I'm going to go ahead and um, 
cut till we get the next call out. I'm gonna force, you know, a normal kind of call out. I'm gonna let it roll its dice and we'll see what happens. All right, so I just forced, um, well, I removed the other script so we can get more spawns for the vehicle. And we'll go ahead and roll over there. We already got the general direction. Suspect is last male, early 30s, heavy. Suspect reported wearing no shirt, light shorts, light sneakers. And I'm gonna make it so if you got your lights or sirens on, his he's able to spot you at a lot further of distance. But we'll kind of go from there and see. All right, so he's breaking into this vehicle. He doesn't always break into vehicles. Alright, so now we kind of expanded on. We'll request an additional unit because we did see him do something. But when you go into the interactions menu, you've got several orders here where you can tell the individual what to do. So we're going to tell him to come over here. Right, right there is pretty good. I'm going to ask him if he has ID. He actually gave us ID, so we can go under here and check him. So nothing wanted on him. Lincoln, one, As you see, I keep four. you busy. We hopping and popping with this. Uh, should have backup. There's our backup rolling in to assist us. And we're going to actually ask for the reporting person. So we got the reporting person, probably that guy right there. And we'll wait till the unit gets here. Um, he will decide sometimes to flee if you know guys don't cover him down enough. If he thinks he can get away. So we can ask him general questions too. Uh, excuse me. For sure. All right, so we got we got the cover officer on him. We're gonna go ahead and um, go ahead and talk to this person. She looks like a lovely person. And from there, you know, you go. I'm moving most of the most of the verbals to here. And you know, a good officer, let's see, London Johnson. We're gonna check this person as well because who knows, they might possibly have warrants and you do get points for that as well if you decide to make an arrest on them. So not much I can do here. I'm probably gonna have to keep this text line. I'm gonna make it up variable so it doesn't always say the same thing. But we're gonna, we're gonna take this person over here and sometimes you'll deal with people that are just rude. Sometimes they don't wanna ID them. Um, sometimes they're just like, yeah, I called. Yeah, here's my ID. Lincoln, one, zero, ten, four. Uh, dispatch is conducting another periodic check to make sure we're good. And we're just going to have this person ID the individual. Um, they're going to make their way over here once they get close enough to ID. Now you can kind of conceal them or make sure he can't see them if you want, which is the proper thing to do. But I don't know, it's an excessive amount of code for a small reward for realism. So we do have a positive ID. Sometimes they don't ID him. It's rare that they don't, but because he's don't has he doesn't have a shirt on or anything all right get away from me old hag all right so we did see him break into the vehicle um he doesn't have a warrant we did have a person id him um at this point we're just pretty much going to go ahead and place him under arrest lspd don't make me shoot you and this cover officer is just going to kind of continue to linger in the area So we got an arrest for Mr. Perkins based off of seeing him break into a vehicle. Didn't have a whole lot. He didn't drop any CDS that I saw. Um, but we are going to check. Come on, buddy. Sit down. And he'll kind of still hang out with him. You could even put him in your car and he'll come watch him in the car and all that stuff. So we're going to get a transport for him. And then we're going to conclude the call out so you guys can see the point reward system and how it kind of varies. Tell the dispatch we're good again. And we're gonna say we're clear of the call. I tell him to dismiss kind of abruptly. Um, clean up starts taking effect. So pretty much all we got out of this situation was a fourth degree burglary with a witness supplemental arrest. And they're gonna take him. What the hell? <laughs> Alba must have did something to that backup officer. I'll have to check into that because when he took him, he fell out of the car. <laughs> So we're gonna cut. I'm gonna show you one more cool thing. Um, you know, John is not always peachy, and it's a rarity. And I don't want to spoil everything. 
and I'll give you guys some hints and I'll talk about the updates and we'll keep going from there. Alright, so you can see we're still at the same spot, but I'm just gonna force another. Alright, so we'll go to the next one. This one's gonna have a pretty specific outcome that is pretty rare. And don't think this is the only one. Suspect is black male, early thirties, heavy, suspect reported wearing, no shirt, light shorts, light sneakers. See if we can find this guy, he might already be in the car. There he goes right there. Oops, just totally shattered my window. Hey. So he's charging us right now. He's bum rushing us. Somehow he lived it. That was a pretty good shot. You can see the knife he dropped on the ground. He was bum rushing us with a knife. Oh, he just passed out. I'm not okay. We're going to leave it flying. Um, we're going to ask this bitch to send us an EMS unit. And, you know, he's got the knife right under him, so we're not going to approach him. This is rare. Like, you shouldn't have to show up and kill John Perkins. That's just another debug message I got down in my uh, area. We're gonna see if EMS can't get this guy some help if they get in here. Sometimes they take a little bit. They do not like going into the garage. So you can hear the call out still rolling me back up. I haven't responded on my radio yet. I wanna go ahead and tell them that I'm okay. And we got EMS showing up now to try to take care of this guy. Or not. I guess they just got flagged so they panic. Looks like John's gonna be dying. If we can revive John, we can arrest John. We don't want John to die. You know what I mean? We run into John all the time. John just makes dumb choices. He's a drug addict. Let's see if we can get EMS here. It's gonna be a bit late. repair while they roll up. I can't stand a busted ass car. I don't think they're going to be able to save him just from how long it's taken to get in here. You can see we're still actually on the call. Oh god. Oh god. What is the AI going to do? What are you going to do? Let me get my vehicle out of the way. EMS isn't going to be able to help this guy. He's pretty much done. But yeah, um, you know, I think that we show up to the calls, we shoot at people, we roll out, and that's done, you know. It's great and all, but in the same sense, um, so repetitive, so not detailed, so not what police work is, in my opinion. So with that said, um, you know, I think it's important to make these moments dramatic. I decided to slow down time, add the heartbeat. Sometimes he'll drop the weapon and flee. Like, you might shoot him when he's not armed. You know, you gotta be careful of all these things. Um, there's so many variables from the actions that he can do, the events that can take place. I've only shown you a small fraction. There's 112 different possible outcomes. And when I say that, some people say, oh yeah, my, my call out has completely different outcomes. And like, yeah, it does. Like, they'll make him attack you or run or something like that. And they'll say it's got tons of outcomes. Like, I'm not even, like, when you approach him, he might drop drugs, not listen to you and start wandering off. When you approach him, he might pull a gun on you. Extremely rare. Um, you know, there's so many things that could happen. We're going to say we're clear of this call. We'll see what happens now. I've never really had John die on me. This AI is nuts. But you can see how the scene is just becoming this complex beast at this point. Fink comes in from so like, this is disgusting. That's fitting. Holy shit! I'm sure he cares. <laughs> But, you know, with that said, I asked you guys for ideas last time. Most of you were throwing out other call-out ideas for me. That's not what I'm after. I'm after ideas for this specific call-out. Um, I got plenty of my own ideas. But, you know, in terms of making the person come down and helping them assess the car if they have been a victim of burglary, um, you know, how to handle that, if we should process evidence, maybe call a supervisor, or take photographs of the evidence for a break-in for more points, if that makes sense. And, um, you know, at this point, even though I coded this, it is 
100% like unpredictable. Like even myself as a guy that made it, you know, you go for a B and E, but you might see something else 100% entirely happen. You have to use your head. You have to use your eyeballs. Um, one of the other things I was thinking, maybe, maybe, because I'm getting carried away, is making it so you can call for a canine unit. If you do think he dropped drugs, the canine unit's going to sniff out the area and help you detect if he has, and you can pick it up from there. You do get points for, um, shit. You, we, oh my god, I was a charger at one point. But, um, you know, I'm... I'm getting carried away with details. I am getting ready to move on to the next call out after I polish this one up. There's still some dangers because so many scripts are talking to each other within it. But, you know, I'm looking for input and, you know, what you guys think about where we're at. I think it's coming along nicely. It feels really fluid. The guys that are giving me feedback on what needs adjusted, like welfare checks are too often or, you know, he, he drops drugs too often. I'm going to also add he drops stolen items like wallets and things like that. You'll be able to... Right. Where are we at? Um, you'll be able to ask, you know, people that show up on scene like, hey, is this your belongings? If they do, then you got, you know, a better case against it. Like, right now, 10, 20 points if you're a decent officer is a good closeout. If you get a case that everything happened, you can sometimes get up to 50, 55 points. Um, but you can still also make a false arrest. If you see the dude rolling down the street and you got a call for a suspicious person, and you know, all you can get is a person to say, yeah, that was him, but you didn't see the act being committed and have no evidence of it, you can make a false arrest. I'm not gonna give you any points. So, I really like how it's coming along, how I'm starting to make the player think, and you know, I'm looking forward to getting the feedback from the next round of testers on this. Uh, give me your feedback. Tell me what you guys think. Like, I think having canines show up on scene and do a trail track for a possible drug drop would be awesome. He drops a small bag of dope, guys. A tiny bag of dope. So it's very hard to find. And it does count towards evidence and points. Uh, geez, what else? What else? I don't, besides the overall differentiation of outcomes, it's, this callout's pretty damn fun. Yeah, it's a possible B&E into vehicles, but it can devolve into... A shootout rarely it can devolve into a foot chase with a drug drop you know all types of wild things so let me know what you guys think i hope you enjoyed this update and i'll see y'all at the next one